Have you ever wondered why certain ideas that are so simple catch on like wildfire and go viral and take the author of that idea to the next level so that they become a thought leader and the highest paid person in their industry? Well, if you wanna do the same thing for your business, I'm gonna show you one of the secrets on how you can do that in this video. You know what's fascinating? There are these simple ideas that seem to just grab on and grow like crazy. Have you ever heard of the 10X rule, right? Grant Cardone came up with this great idea where the simple concept behind it is set a goal and then 10X it. So if you wanna make 2 million in a year, you say, I'm gonna make 20 million. And even if you don't make the 20 million, you're gonna make way more than the 2 million thinking like that. Obviously I'm extremely summarizing such a great idea, but you get the gist of it. It's the simple idea. You take Mel Robbins with the five second rule, right? So basically, if you wanna do something, just count back like a, uh, a rocket launch, five, four, three, two, one, and then you do it, and then that's amazing, right? Like, there's these simple ideas that for some reason catch on like wildfire, and then they become this viral hit. Now, what if you could do that in your speaking engagements? What if you could leverage a simple idea that makes your audience have an aha moment and then believes that what you're saying is the single most important thing they could possibly be doing. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm gonna show you why this is so valuable. Because what most speakers do, and this is just a big mistake, is they try to create a complex speaking engagement. A lot of people think to wow their audience, they have to have this complex series of ideas, or they do what they call the buffet strategy, where they literally say, here's 27 ideas and choose the one that you think best fits you. And you know what happens when someone gives you 27 ideas or 10 ideas in like one hour? You remember zero of them. So complexity is actually not a sign of intelligence in the speaking world. Simplicity is a sign of intelligence. But you might be asking yourself, I don't wanna say something that sounds generic. I don't wanna say something that sounds unimaginative. I wanna really impress my audience so I can impact them. Well, I wanna show you what you do and it's really simple. You get the idea that you wanna share, the simplistic idea, and then what you wanna do is address that idea from every possible angle to demonstrate why this simple idea is worth the person's time. And if you do it correctly, then your audience will go, oh my gosh, that is game changing. I'll give you an example, okay? I'm just gonna make up an example and show you how you can make anything work with this. Let's say I was doing a presentation on relationships, okay? So I am now, which I'm not, <laughs> a dating love guru, okay? I've transformed into a dating love guru. And I wanna do a very simplistic presentation that's memorable and then can kind of catch on, right? One of the things that I wanna do is say, you know what? Oh, a handwritten note to your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend is the most powerful gift you could possibly give them. So let's say that's the premise of my entire presentation, that a handwritten note is the most powerful gift you can possibly give to build deep, loving relationships. It's not diamonds, it's not expensive vacations and all the things that a lot of people think that they need to give someone to show their love it's taking the time and effort to write a handwritten letter. So here's how I might approach that if I believe that to be true. And by the way, I'm not a dating love expert. I think it's a pretty good idea. I don't know if it is. If you are a dating expert, let me know if this is actually what I'm saying is true. But this is what I believe. So I would say like this. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have in the last month received a handwritten letter from someone? Probably no one will raise their hand. How many of you can remember the last person who actually gave you a handwritten letter? I'd say a lot of people will raise their hand. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you have a shoebox filled with those handwritten letters, or maybe you have a folder that whenever you get a really thought, a really well thought handwritten letter, you keep it? It's gonna be a percentage of the room that goes ahead and raise their hand. Why? Why don't we save emails and why don't we save text messages in the same way that we, we save these handwritten letters? It's because the handwritten letter is more meaningful. Now, a simple mistake a lot of husbands make when they're trying to build love with their wife is they try to buy their love. They try to say, hey, here's this bigger diamond and here's this great pearl necklace and all of that stuff. When the most powerful gift they can give is sitting down 
spending two hours of their time to write out why they love their spouse and why they appreciate them so much in a simple pen to paper exchange. Now, let me ask you this. If you think about the last time you wrote a four page love letter to your spouse, how long ago was that, if you ever did? I encourage you, if you wanna see the love and you wanna see the person you love the most cry with joy, I encourage you to don't worry about spending time writing a handwritten letter. I mean, don't worry about <laughs> buying them a diamond, write them a handwritten letter. So what I'm gonna do is hit from all these angles why people keep handwritten letters. When was the last time you received a handwritten letter? Why it's so emotional, why it's so important, why people will keep it. And then like if you ever mess up, and this is probably true, if you ever mess up and do something stupid, you can go into that person's box and get that handwritten letter and hand it to them, just like put it on the pillow to remind them of your love and maybe that gets you out of the doghouse. So what happens is you take a simple idea that say love letters are the answer, right? Making this up. But that could be a simple idea, but most people don't write handwritten letters. Most people intellectually can get why that's such a powerful idea. Most people can understand the emotional impact that that's had on them. And I can literally start then tell some stories about how I gave handwritten letters to someone and how I have people in my life who maybe weren't a spouse who wrote me something and I kept it. And then after they passed away, that letter was one of the most meaningful possessions that I have and how you can always buy another diamond ring but capturing a moment in time. And then you can talk about what to put in the handwritten letter to make it more powerful and why you should put it date on the handwritten letter so people can always remember that moment in time and so on and so forth. I could literally build an entire presentation around why a handwritten love letter is the best gift you can give and I can build an incredible idea around a simplistic concept. Now the funny thing is, is you can do that with most any principle or idea as long as you look at it and you hit it from every possible angle. If you can do that, that simple idea, you can create a simple idea that will wow your audience, will shift the way that they think, gets them to take action. Now, if you happen to be, say, a love guru and you help people write the best handwritten letters, right? And you're like, hey, if you wanna write the best handwritten letter that's guaranteed to get your spouse to cry and fall more deeply in love with you, and you have a consulting program that helps people write said letter, that would be a heck of a dang presentation to give. What I'm saying is you can take any idea, and if you get the simplicity of it, and you can hit it from every level, and then take the surface idea, but then go deeper, and go deeper, and then go deeper into why it's so important, and why it's so crucial, and why it's so powerful, and show people how to do it, you'll be surprised at how you can take a simple idea, but make it powerful, so that it's aha inducing, and then People will be so excited that by the end of it, they're walking up to you to be their handwritten love letter consultant. But you can do that with your business right now. So what I encourage you to do is really get clear on what are the most simplistic ideas that have the biggest impact for your ideal clients and start thinking about all the different ways you can approach it and all the different levels to it and the intellectual pursuits and the emotional pursuits and the financial and academic and what all the other things that you might be able to do. And look, if you want some help figuring out how to put together the right presentation that's gonna be memorable, not a thousand different things in one hour, but one sole core idea, and you figure out how to hit it from every angle and tell the right stories and why it's important and how you came up with it, how you help clients with it and why it's so powerful, so you can deliver a one hour presentation and by the time you're done, have people running up to you to have you work with them and become a client to you, I'd love to help you with that. Hey, hey, if you like that video, make sure you hit that like button before you go and hit the subscribe button so you can get more of our great content so it goes to the top of the algorithm. And if you head over to talkadot.com, not only will you get more in-depth resources there to help you with your speaking, but also you'll be able to get a free account for our amazing software tool that helps speakers like you pull leads from your speaking engagements, get data so you can actually have objectifiable information on why you're so good at what you do and how to use that data to book more speaking engagements. If you wanna find out what Talkadot is, head over to talkadot.com. And remember, if you wanna talk a lot, head over to talk a dot. See, see what I did there? See what, just, just go to the website, trust me, it'll make more sense when you're there. <laughs> I'll see you at the next video.